Electra Heart. This Valentine's Day look is for all my single ladies out there who are spending this Valentine's Day playing a little hard to get. Or even if you just want to be like, hey, I am not your bait. <laughs> I thought this would be a really fun and playful outfit for the daytime. If I'm being honest, even I want to wear this outfit like all the freaking time. It's so freaking cute. And if you don't have a bait this Valentine's Day, that's okay. Valentine's Day doesn't have to be about a significant other. To me, Valentine's Day is about a celebration of love, spending time with people who love you and who you love, whether that be your pets, your family, your friends, or even yourself. This video is in collaboration with my new friend, Chantel. She did a date night look for Valentine's Day. And here is just a little sample of her video. She does beautiful makeup tutorials and has really great quality videos. So please make sure to subscribe to her channel and check out her video right after watching this one. I did film this video a little differently, so I hope you guys enjoy. Now let's get on to the video. For this makeup look, I already moisturized and primed my face. I'm first going to take my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and apply it on my dark circles and on any blemishes I may have. I am applying it under my eyes, the sides of my nose, and under my lip. Then I am just taking a mini damp makeup sponge and blending that into the skin using patting motions. Next I am taking another clean makeup sponge and applying my NYX HD foundation to my face and neck. For this look we want a flawless matte finish and I think this foundation really does the trick. To set that all in, I am taking my Rimmel Translucent Face Powder and applying that to any area I concealed or applied foundation to mattify my entire face. For this look, we are doing some light contouring. I am taking my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in Medium and contouring the hollows of my cheeks, around my temples, and down my neck to create some warmth to my face. Marina had some light baby pink cheeks, so I'm taking my CoverGirl Cheekers Blush and lightly applying this to the apples of my cheeks as well as the tip of my nose. Next, I'm filling in my eyebrows with some brown eyeshadow because Marina has prominent brows on her Electra Heart album. I am just enhancing my natural shape and just filling in sparse areas to create sharp lines. on the eye makeup, I really recommend a good eyeshadow primer to lock in the eyes for long wear. I'm using my Too Faced Insurance Primer to prime my eyes. For the eye look, I really wanted to play up the baby pink and brown colors, so I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Palette and taking the color Buck and applying that to my crease with a fluffy crease brush. Next, I'm taking Toasted and applying that color to the center of my eyes. This is where you want to build up color. To really brighten up the eyes, I'm using Sin and applying that to my inner corners to open up the eyes and make them appear larger. To add more depth to this look, I'm applying Hustle to my outer V and crease. I'm really focusing that color on the outer V and slightly bringing it into the crease to create a soft look. Once that is done, you just want to take a clean fluffy brush and blend those colors together to keep the look soft and natural looking. I wasn't that satisfied with the pink tone. So I took another pink eyeshadow. You can use any one you have just lying around as long as it's a baby pink color. I used a denser eyeshadow brush and packed the color onto the center of the lid where we placed toasted. Next, I am just using my fingers and applying the color Virgin under my eyebrows as a highlight. 
Marina had a really small winged eyeliner, so I'm just using my Liquid Maybelline Stiletto Eyeliner and creating a small wing. For this look, you want to use an opaque color and keep the eyeliner as black as possible. It is time for falsies. To create the eye look that Marina had, I'm using number 102 from Ardell and cutting them in half to apply them to my bottom lashes. Next, I'm using my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and only applying it to my bottom lashes to bond my natural lash with the falsies. Taking a clean mascara wand, I am brushing through my lashes. I do have eyelash extensions, so I will not be using falsies or mascara for this look. But you can use both if you want to create dramatic full lashes. For my lips, I am taking my Revlon Lip Pencil in pink and lining my lips. Then with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Addis Ababa, I am filling in my lips. I really wanted to play up the color pink in this look, so I went with a soft pink color for the lips. Oops, I almost forgot. We cannot forget Marina's signature heart. I just used a black eyeliner pencil and sketched a small heart on my upper cheek. And that completes my Electra Heart inspired makeup look. Finish the look off with any hairstyle of your choice. I decided to go with a half up look with some soft curls. Sugar.